So it's I'm getting a little saying, bit heated so. in the studio right now because the conversation we're about to have is a, an interesting one. It's a fine line, if you ask me, but let's get straight to it. We have Dr. Shin Olabode in the building, a certified counseling and psychology professional, someone with a focus on marriage and family counseling. And as an associate family engineering and counseling professional, she's dedicated her career to helping people, relationships and marriages achieve their full potential. We've had a really interesting series so far, and today we're wrapping her season up uh, on the show uh, with this topic, long distance relationships. It's great to have you back in the studio. Thank you very much. I'm glad to be back. All right, so the anxiety around having your partner hundreds of miles away from you uh, for long periods of time, it's daunting for an average couple, yeah. you know? Uh, yeah. But what is the first piece of advice you give a couple who are probably still together but anticipating that split? So my advice to them is to spread their cards on the table. They should be sincere with themselves. Why are we doing this? What do we have to gain? Then prior to the departure, they should know the sacrifices they will have to make and ask themselves sincerely, are we willing to pay the price? Okay. Because sincerely, it is not distance per se that ruins relationship or marriages. Okay. It is lack of adequate communication and openness. So you might be together, if you are not communicating well, you are not being intimate, you are not being sincere, you are not watching out for each other. You can be living under the same roof and it will still not work out. Mm. So you're saying that uh, relationships and distance are not always a negative? No. Okay. So we have established that there are quite a few couples who are living apart, especially since this whole Jackpot to Canada yeah. thing started. Yeah. There are some uh, men who've sent their wives and kids abroad Maybe because it's easier on school fees. Maybe it's because they just feel their children will thrive better abroad. Um, but there is that distance. And then the issue of intimacy comes up. How do you keep that intimacy, that fire burning when you're so far apart? So it depends on who you marry, but there are certain generic rules that could apply. Okay. One of the rules is setting your goals. Okay. So you want to know, how long are you going to be away? Okay. During the time when you are away, what are the things we are supposed to individually accomplish? Hmm. Am I supposed to learn a course, get a certification, okay. and things like that? Then when are we coming together and how? When means, okay, I'm going to be away for three years. That means we are coming back together maybe... December 2026, then okay. how? Are you the one coming back? Am I the one joining you? Okay. Apart from that, relevant communication is important okay. because um, out of sight could be out of mind mm. if relevant communication structure is not in place. So you are saying put an actual structure in place yeah. for communication. You need structure. Rules, you need structure because of time differences okay. and um, the nature of each person's job. Some people work night shifts, some work day shifts. So there has to be structure so that it will be a time that will be convenient for the two people. Then, apart from that, you also need to be there for them, although you are not physically there. Okay. Being there for them is helping them in any way you can to find their footing where they're going, to have a soft landing. If you have friends and families there that can help them, okay. you can reach out to those friends and families to help them. And if you don't, you can go online, find the closest grocery um, shops to them, yeah. the closest um, train um, Station. stations and things that can help them make their life easier. Okay. Also, you have to find ways to cement trust okay. because minds of people can run wild when their spouses when are they're not apart. around them. Okay. So anything that can... Um, make them doubt your integrity, credibility, and call you avoid it. For instance, probably you are speaking to them and a voice is heard mm -hmm. underneath. Yeah. And it's, once the voice is heard underneath, don't wait for the other person to say, who is that? You yeah. tell them, oh, I'm still in the office. Switch from audio to video. See my colleague. Yeah. My colleague, see my boo or see my bae. 
by saying that the person knows that there's nothing, no strings attached, it's just to this person. Okay. Then you might also want to surprise them with gifts. Mm -hmm. You are not there, but there are special occasions, their birthdays and days that are memorable to them. Contact vendors that are reliable. Let them surprise them with cakes, with African-made dishes and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. And you might also... Okay. Go ahead. Okay. And you might also want to be there for them by establishing times of funds yeah. and memorable times together. Time of fun could be watching movies together. It could be um, watching soccer together, taking online courses together via FaceTime or Zoom. And it could also be phone sex. Mm -hmm. If you are a couple and you are um, Libra or you are um, expressive enough to make yeah. that happen, yeah. there could be phone sex, yeah. there could be... So honestly, I feel, I feel like this conversation is a lot longer than we have time for, but uh, you have established different ways and strategies and structures here, and I only wish we had time to go further with it. Uh, but hopefully it's helpful to you as you begin your journey, possibly into a long-distance relationship. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Welcome, August. Mom. All right there, Dr. Shion Olabode there. And uh, we have quite a bit of space right there for you on social media to use uh, for your comments and contributions. Use our hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC. We can't wait.